Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. I love a girls, gays, and theys. This one's for you. Yay! I don't know if this is too much information, but you guys know pretty much everything about me by this point. I actually need to get a life and stop sniffling. How cute! Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another vlog. I hope you guys are all well. I just haven't had the best week. I just had a bit of a meh week, like there's not really been a reason. I think I mentioned in a vlog a little while ago that I came off the pill um, in like July, was it July, August? I have written it down so I'm like keeping track. And since then I haven't had a period. Now to another person, this it seems like a really, really long time, but this actually happened to me when I was in first year at Bird and I came off the pill and it took me a whole year to get my natural period back um, after coming off the pill. So I kind of expected this to be the case. Um, although, sorry, this is really throwing you straight in TMI right at the start of the video but we're all friends here. I am a healthier weight now and like so many other factors that I didn't think it would take a whole year to get a period. Anyway, this week I've just been exhausted like trying, I'm, I'm thinking that it might be that my period is coming and something to do with my iron levels. I, I want to think it is because I really want it. <laughs> like I want it. I want to know that you know my body's working and it's all okay. If it's not then I don't know what is wrong. I've had no energy to do any- well, I've had to do stuff. Yeah, I don't know if it's because I've been doing like muggle jobs and just things that I don't want to do. <laughs> I decided to vlog tonight because I haven't vlogged all week because of that reason because I've just been feeling meh and I thought, Dean's come on, it's Saturday. Let's whip the vlog out and talking to you guys and just speaking um, makes me feel better. I'm heading to Aldi. My friends are coming around tonight. Two friends from Bird. I'm having a pizza, like a little wine night. So I'm going to go get the goods from Aldi and yes, I thought I'd just bring you guys along and probably do either, maybe like another weekly vlog, something like that. Let's go to the shops. Right, I'm back and I thought I would show you what I picked up. Completely unrelated to tonight, I got this for Elliot for Valentine's Day. It's from Asda. It kind of looks like a jelly cat. So I went into Asda and I picked up these vegan diggy toffee puddings. They were two pounds and still trying to do the vegan for February thing. So picked those up and then in terms of pizzas, I did get this mozzarella. So no, this looks nice. This is a big wood fried pizza. I did also get pepperoni and then I I got a vegan one as well. So I will mainly have this. This looks quite nice. I've never seen this before. Barbecue stuffed um, barbecue jackfruit pizza. This is in the frozen section. And then I might just have a little bit of this sourdough one. I did question whether if it was the eating the vegan diet that's making me so tired. I don't know if it's like a contributing thing. I'm not really sure. I don't want it to be that. So like I'm I'm not gonna stop doing it, I don't think. And then wine, I went for white Zinfandel, a Chardonnay, picked up some lemonade in case we wanna do little spritzes as well. Right, it is the next day. Don't mind my, wow. Look how crease this is. Anyway, don't mind that. It is Sunday. I have had a really like lazy, I was gonna say morning, it's not morning. It's literally like 20 past four. I've just been doing like loads of stuff on my laptop, chilling out a little bit. Um, but I'm gonna try and get to, apparently I live in Aldi now, but I'm gonna try and get to Aldi before five, before it shuts. Will I do it? Who knows? This is the aftermath of last night. I need to sort this out when I get back. I don't know what to have for dinner. I'm thinking maybe doing like a sausage and mash. I feel like that's my go-to when I want something like a roast, but I don't wanna make a full on roast. I just do something with gravy and like call it a day. We did it, we made it. I'm back. I don't know if the lighting's awful there. It is awful there. Okay, right, I'm gonna leave you guys there while I clean up all of this mess from last night. Have a little catch up as I go. I'm aware, like I look like a little boiled egg. I have fallen back in love with vlogging since getting my new camera for Christmas and I can't tell you how much I love it. Also, if you are watching this video, 
please just leave me a little heart emoji leave me a little comment um i love 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 chatting with you guys yeah like i said yesterday i've just had like a bit of a meh week but it doesn't mean that this week coming is going to be a meh week i want to make sure that it's not so this week was doing loads of boring muggle jobs just gotta get the get the dollar you know um two weeks left in this flat now two weeks left which is crazy um i kind of I didn't really tell you guys but everything with the house got confirmed it got sorted and we move in two weeks time so we've just got to enjoy the last little bit of time here in this flat but yeah this week i had my first laser hair removal appointment which has been so so um overdue because i got i got a voucher from my mum literally two christmases ago for for a clinic for laser hair um but then this year she bought me another voucher to add with that one to basically because you buy like sessions of laser hair this is a really long-winded way around it anyway i have my first session i'm getting my like bikini and um and underarms done and i was nervous i've had my underarms done before when i used to work at aesthetics in bristol but i only ended up having two sessions I was a bit nervous and obviously like getting um getting like down there done i'm just going <laughs> I don't know if this is too much information, but you guys know pretty much everything about me by this point. Um, I'm just getting the Hollywood, I'm getting the full, the full shebang down there, I'm getting it all nice and smooth. <laughs> and I was a bit like nervous about it because you're like you're quite vulnerable, you're just there with your bits out and stuff. But I thought, you know, this woman who does it sees this every day like this is a regular thing so i just kind of I had to keep reminding myself of that but when you <laughs> when you get i'm saying this because i would want to hear this if i was about to get it done it didn't hurt at all she said that it sort of said she said they like increase the intensity of it over time so i'm sure like over time it will get a bit more like sensitive and a bit more painful um but i didn't really feel anything this time around which was great with the hollywood no this is too much with the hollywood she basically made me like lie on my stomach and like i spread my cheeks and lasered in there which i am not mad about like go for it anyway had that this week but i'm so excited to be hair free and smooth over time obviously it doesn't happen straight away mm, that smells so nice it's a linen linen sorry it's a linen fresh oh my gosh fresh linen scent it smells really good that's really rude sorry Looks, looks delicious. Yum. Hello guys, so it is Monday, it's Monday. I was meaning to chat to you this morning actually, but I ended up, I was doing a TikTok and I had an audition for something today, which is like a bit different to anything I've done. I feel like I got good vibes from it, which means that like I'll be able to talk to you about it soon, but if I didn't and I don't get it, then it's a bit awkward. I've just been out for my friend's birthday meal. Went to a place called Mildred's in Camden, which is like all vegan, which is great for my vegan February that I keep going on about. I think I'm getting a cold. <laughs> I think I'm getting a cold. Um, I'm singing tomorrow in care homes for Valentine's Day. Ooh, the boobs are nearly out. I think I've said before that I have been singing in care homes and I love it. I really enjoy it. It's so rewarding and just very nice, wholesome vibes. So I'm doing that tomorrow. So I didn't want a late one because I... The girls have all gone out now for drinks, but I didn't want to risk it with 
my voice and stuff. Tom's spending my Valentine's Day tomorrow, which again is super wholesome. Um, I was gonna make me and Elliot a nice breakfast. I just went to get some petrol actually for tomorrow in an M&S garage and oh my gosh, they have the most beautiful selection of flowers in there. They're gorgeous bouquets. The only person buying me flowers is me tomorrow. Um, and do I really wanna spend, they're like 20 pounds. I have other things I think I'd want to spend £20 on. Anyway, not me being bitter about Valentine's Day. Because we're not bitter, we're better. Oh! I actually ended up finishing this. In my last vlog, I said to you guys I couldn't get into it. I ended up reading it all and finishing it. I did find it quite slow, I'm not gonna lie. I I liked it, I did really, really like it, and I kind of, I do recommend it, but I didn't know whether it was fiction or not. It's not, it is, I know it does sound like an autobiography, um, but I'm guessing this is all, so uh, this is all what happened like in Dolly Alderton's life and it is really good like I suggest for like this age it's a perfect read about like you know relationships, um, friendships, therapy, like what, career. So I did get into it and finish it and I, I did enjoy it. It just took me a while to get into it but I'm now reading um, another Colleen Hoover without merit and one of you guys did just did just comment on my last vlog saying that this one is a bit different and I really like it so far I can sense that it is different to her usual stuff I need to just go over all my songs and stuff for tomorrow and then watch Love Island Casa Bluin Amor hello testing one two oh <laughs> the heart really is back on testing one two one two one two one two setting up for tomorrow <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day everyone. This one's for the lovers, the lover girls, gays and mays. This one's for you. We had a filed noise complaint from <laughs> <laughs> We had a filed noise complaint from the people that live below us. It was actually really out of order, I'm not gonna lie. It was really unnecessary. I don't know what they're talking about. Don't have no idea <laughs> what they're talking about. Being genuine, we actually did have a noise complaint and there was no real reason for it, I can't lie. I've never done this before. Here. <laughs> but we live in a split house, like we hear them having sex all the time, so. Wise man say, <laughs> how can we be wrong? Stand away with me. True, but there's another mic in there if you want one. True another world where we rely on each other. Guys, I just got home from the Valentine's gigs today and look what's on my bed. How cute. Some of my favorites. Peppermint arrow and some roses. Elliot bought me flowers. Bless his little heart. I can't believe do you want to say this looking like this? Central C is so buff. Oh my days. I just watched Chicken Shop Date with Central C. Ah, uh, sorry. So, so buff. Also, I'm getting my eyebrows done. I'm going home this weekend to get my eyebrows done on Friday. They Look at my crusty, <laughs> my crusty makeup. Look how bushy my brows are. It's so hard for me, like, I'm not, I don't know, I'm trying to oh, think. Boo hoo. It's so hard for you. <laughs> Why don't you just grow up? Might be a simp, you know. I love him. I need to get back into gua sha in my face. At the start of the year, I was really in a good routine with it and I've got a bit lazy with it. I came on here to say that I picked all my biab off. It was peeling off, but I've basically come to the conclusion that I'm gonna have to go, not have to, but that I'm gonna go back to acrylics. I really wanted this to be my biab year. I wanted it to be in my biab natural nail era, but having natural nails and being able to scratch at my eczema is a, uh -uh. it is not a good combo because my natural nails are so sharp compared to the softness of the acrylics and when I have acrylics my eczema is significantly better and because I do it in my sleep and even the slightest little scratch I'm gonna let that on my neck because mainly my neck it just inflames it so much that I think 
even if they're short acrylics I think that's what I'm gonna have to do so I think I'm gonna get them when I go back to Bristol this weekend I, I can't I don't know what I filmed today because I was also doing a TikTok as well maybe I can include the TikTok Valentine's Day with me so I woke up feeling quite coldy but I had two singing gigs today so the show had to absolutely go on I did my eyeshadow cute valentine's themed stole one of elliot's jumpers out of his wardrobe did a steam had some toast and packed up my car i was singing in two different care homes today and obviously couldn't film anything but his oh, don't mind my dirty dirty car yeah i couldn't film anything but i love singing in care homes it's so rewarding and heartwarming and yeah spreading the love this valentine's day then i went to tesco admired the flowers that i wouldn't be receiving this year as a single girl then i was saying in this clip i just dropped a yogurt all over a man's shoe it split and went everywhere and i was so embarrassed anyway i ate my model came home said the flowers and some of my favorite chocolate on my bed i think i dropped enough hints to elliot before Valentine's Day and then I wasn't feeling 100% but waited for Elliot to come home we watched Love Island in bed this is what I got him I got him some bunnies and this cute little jelly cat dupe uh for Valentine's so cute it's Valentine's Day and I had two singing gigs today in care homes it is I, I love it it's so rewarding and it's just oh I could actually cry when I do it but so many different emotions come over me at once when I do these gigs because the homes I was in today a lot of them have dementia and so many things run through my brain it's like you've lived such a life like you were literally like me like once and you've had all this life experience and now like and now you're here and I don't know it's just there's something so like precious but sad but lovely because they're like singing along and how music jogs their memory back and how they literally can remember every single word to these songs um because they're like songs of their time and stuff and it's just oh it just is super rewarding um so hopefully i'll brighten some of their days and stuff but yeah that was it was great Good morning, guys um <laughs> this is the first time i've spoken today actually it's making my eyes water. I need to blow my lips thick in a bit. It is Wednesday. Wednesday, I'm going to meet Sarah, one of the girls I lived with at Polo Express. I'm really, really, really excited to see her. I've not seen her since Christmas Eve. So it'd be so, so nice to see her. Um, and then I've got a little, like, interview thing. Um, I'll tell you guys about that later, obviously, if it goes well. But yeah, just got some jeans on, a little jacket. Oh my god, I actually need to get a life and stop sniffling. What the heck? No, thank you. It's now Friday. I am was a -B -A -B -A -B. back home. I'm back home in Bristol. I came back yesterday on the train. I have my eyebrows laminated today, that's why they're giving like 2016 brows. Um, I've just got to wait for them to like settle in my face, but we are off tonight. We are, we think we're going to the theatre to watch My Fair Lady the tour. My mum booked tickets and just realised that she just booked them for next Friday instead of this Friday. So we're going to have to call and see if we can change them. I'm going to start recording because it will stress her out. Right? And I also got my nails done today. Hey vlog. Vlog. Where's yours? We sorted the... What? Bad we sorted the ticket issue. We had our dinner, now we're here. They made us throw our leftover pizza away. Me and Hayden literally had a slice of our pizza because we had to run to the theatre. I was so and sad. And we couldn't bring it in. We chucked away two whole pizzas, basically. But the show's so good. It's the interval currently, as we speak. It is amazing, isn't it? So funny. When they walk on. Guys, I feel like I'm all eyebrows. <laughs> But I was just so dark, I'm waiting for them to go down. It is now Saturday. I'm meeting my friend Lily for brunch. We're going to somewhere called the Met, Met Metropolitan in Bristol on White Ladies Road. I've never been, I don't know if it's new, but she sent it to me on inst Instagram and it looked so good. So I'm really excited because I'm pretty hungry. Um, last night's show was amazing. I have not seen like a legit old school musical theater show in so so long i was thinking I, I can't remember the last time i saw like a legit musical theater show legit theater is like pre-1965 
tested my knowledge I think um, and yeah it was absolutely brilliant it was such a long show but it was really nice I'm going out this evening for my friend Beth's birthday you need to stop ignoring the text Steve okay. what did you want to ask Lemonade, Coke, Sex on the Beach, Gin Cocktails, Prosecco, Wine. Beth stars are the future of tonight. Yeah, they are. Look at your hotel five star bed. Do every you make time. it every day? I do make it every day, except when I'm at work. When I'm working, because mm. I get home and I'm so late. Get in. Get in. <laughs> get in. It's a bit fake tiny, that. Right, guys. Oh. We're getting ready. Don't you lie. To party. It's the night of Beth Brady's birthday. What do you think about a five minute nap? Yeah, go on while I do best sure. makeup. Yeah. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want on the eyes? I think. Normal. Browns. I quite like these two colours. This is Beth's and dressing drip. room. Okay, this is embarrassing. Sorry, I've sorry. No makeup on. Sorry. Hive and drip. Great. Let's wow. do it. Wow. That looks amazing. <gasps> wow. Go on, the Do you want to take a photo? Woo! Put the lid on. back in this tracksuit we move out of here on friday which is just crazy there is so much going on there is so much change happening right now that i'm i feel like i'm all over the place anyway i've had a bit of a mare because this is the tripod that's connected to the bottom of my camera um but i cannot get this part of it off my camera and it means i cannot get my memory card out to edit so i'm really sorry if um the last vlog was slightly delayed i really wanted to stick to like every sunday slash monday but um i currently can't get my memory card out of my camera i did just buy adjustable thing that my dad just told me to buy from Asda to try and get it off my camera but anyway I actually have started a new job this week which I feel like I'll go into another time um but I'm just cooking some pasta I need to start packing that is what I need to do I just went round to some shops to ask if they had any cardboard boxes usually Aldi and Lidl are so good for this I went to Aldi and I think I just asked the wrong guy because he was like no and I was like can I I could see them and I was like, can I not just take these ones? He was like, no. <laughs> so, never mind. It's literally just two from Wilco. So, it's a start. It's a start. My dad's coming up. Elliot's mum um, and stepdad are coming up on Friday. It'll be fine. We've got until the Sunday to actually move out of here. But <laughs> I'm going on a weekend away. It's such, like, bad timing. But... It always is the way everything just comes all at once. My friends from Bristol booked to go away that weekend and that was the only weekend we could move in <laughs> to our new place. So I think this is kind of the start of the moving vlogs because I'll be like packing and stuff but I'll start the actual moving vlogs on Friday. So go, go, go. I'm going to try and get this bit, this bit of tripod off my camera now. Yeah. 